What's up, everybody? We're going to solve Wordle for Tuesday, October 15, 2024. Okay, just to get the screen set up as always. Today, guys, we're going to start with uh, blood. Now, there's a chance that we could nail this on the first stroke because we've had bleed, but not blood. So did Brian Ninja, the creator of this amazing master list for all of October with spooky theme words, hand us a hole in one with blood in one? No. Okay. Just checking my screen, guys. Yeah, it looks good. Um, no, he didn't. Okay. Um, but there's an O out of position. Actually, that's pretty informative. It's, I don't think it'll be last. It certainly could be, but let's just pretend it's not. It's not fourth. And I don't think you're going to double up on the O. So I think there's just the one O. And um, I think we could assume it goes second. Yes, indeed. Uh, ooh, I have a good one. I have a good one. Uh, I don't know if it'll be the answer, but it could be. But just to kind of keep the theme of Halloween, how about a coven of witches? I mean, why not? I think the Wordle gods may have very well elected that this also be a cool theme word answer for October. Did we get covered in two? I, I, no! Oh my god, that would have been amazing too. No! Oh my gosh. I mean, still a good guess. Oh. I wanted that too so bad, guys. All right, let's relax. That would have been incredible. Okay. Um, there's um, Comet. Um, I think we had Comet, though. All right. So, again, this is why it does pay to remember these words. Um, th this, act this structure actually looks fairly trappy. So, we had Comet. Um, oh, shoot. Yeah, this is a, this dude, this is an ER trap. <laughs> Ouch. So there's cower. I'm pretty sure we had cower. Ooh, corer. Like an apple corer. Apple corer. Yeah. That, that, that could work. I don't think we have coder, coyer, coper. Eh. Comer. Like a newcomer. Hmm. Okay. So of the, of the ER structures, I probably like Cora the best. Honestly, I don't see much else. Like what el what else is gonna come at the end at the end of that E? Nothing, because we ruled out Comet. We don't have to worry about Covet. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a shot. Err, I mean, I, I, don't, I mean, even if it's not right, I know it's using the two R's, which is not ideal, but I think I've ruled out most of the others. Um, do we get core in three? Yes, whoa, my God, wow. 383, guys, is the streak. Oh, man, I really, that, that coven, I was like, you gotta be kidding me. No, it wasn't Coven. That would have been incredible. Um, but wow, Coror in three. I have to imagine that. That's unfortunately, I think that could defeat a lot of people. Uh, that is a, that's a very nasty ER trap, especially, you know, because there's so many things that can go in there. Let's count them up. You've got Cower, obviously Coror. This is assuming that, you know, you know that it's an O-E-R trap and then it begins with a C. So Cower, Coror, um. I'm not gonna, I don't think people will go for Coper. That's a little weird. Um, coder, like a computer coder. Um, cover. Um, and possibly comer. So five, just to try to sort out that stupid middle letter. And that's assuming that you can get to that structure by the second or third guess. So yeah, for the hard mode players, at least, I think it could be tricky. Uh, nevertheless, guys, uh, we succeeded. I hope you guys enjoyed. Oh. That was a good one. Uh, tomorrow, um, what are we doing tomorrow? We are doing um, creep, okay? We're gonna do creep. We've had crept, okay? We've had crept. 
but I don't think we've had creep. So once again, there's a possibility for um, a hole in one. Guys, I hope you enjoyed that. That was pretty good. I know a lot of you were probably who have already uh, solved this in advance. We're hoping that this would be Art's fail day because that is a very nasty trap. You guys can let me know how Squirtle would have performed. Again, Squirtle's the optimized Wordle solver. It does stay in hard mode. Um, but yeah, I'm sorry to disappoint you guys, but um, I got lucky with the coven. It just sort of felt like a clever little word. It wasn't correct, but we got Cora in three. Hope you enjoyed. And of course, I'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow for the next round of the Wordle. What's up, everybody? We're going to do strands for Tuesday, October 15. Uh, once again, we just have to slide this over a little bit. All right. Beast mode. Let's see if Art can play in beast mode today. Um, makes you think of Mr. Beast. I don't think they would have a whole category dedicated to him. Okay. Um, yeah. I don't even see an M. So then Beast. Ah. Uh, Uh, makes you think of like horror, maybe like horror movies, horror movies. I don't think that's going to work. <laughs> Not very many unusual letters. I think, I think I see something with creature in here. That could potentially be either some, we could be looking at some synonyms for beasts, or it could be the overarching spangram. But I do think we've got creature. Hmm. But the thing is, on the right side, I see horn and hair. And then on the left side, I see shell and scale. Ha. Huh. So I think these are... Oh my gosh, I got it, guys. Whoa, that's super clever. These are creature features. And I think we go like this. Boom! Okay. We have the shell. Not shield, shell. We've got the scale. Feathers. Not sure what creature has feathers. I mean, a bird, obviously. Horn. Hair. Wing, tail, boom. There you have it, guys. Um, yeah, that was really good. Very clever one. We're starting to really get deep into the Halloween theme mode. I really love it. And um, I don't think that was too tricky, you know, beast. And um, yeah, I think it was cool the way we discovered a couple words flanking the spangram. And then we realized that actually creature should be the overarching category, which it was. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And of course, I'm going to look forward to seeing you tomorrow for the next round of a strands. What's up, everybody? We are going to play Connections for Tuesday, October 15, 2024. Let's hit the play button and hope that we can preserve a 56-day streak. Okay? Screen looks good. We've got Drive, Pennywise, Safety, Nickelodeon, Homie, Discovery, Ronald, Center, Democrat, Oxygen, Defense, Quarterback, History, Dimensional, Joker, and Guard. Um, you've got some quarterback. Quarterback. You've got some football positions, which would include the quarterback, the safety, um, center, and guard. Defense is tempting, but um, that's that's not that's not a football position per se um it's like an entire component of the team the defense the offense and the special teams so so that looks good i do want to be a little careful just to make sure that these couldn't scatter into other categories by accident because see i notice you've got quarter penny Ooh, see that's the thing guys i think it could, could be a trap you've got quarter penny dime dime and dimensional oh my god and cent and center Okay, no nickels. 
Not, the funny thing is I'm not, not sure if they would do both penny and uh, cent. Okay, but still, it, it is possible that that could be another category. So let's be careful here. Uh, oh my gosh, you have, the, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. You do have Nickelodeon. Oh my gosh. Oh, we're going to be super careful here. So let's just still keep these guys lit up. You just never know what these guys are up to. Either you, got, you either overthink it or you shouldn't think it. And it could just go either way. Nickelodeon, however, and Discovery, I think, are uh, channels, cable channels. History, the History Channel. I think I've heard of Oxygen. I, I could have sworn it's more of a magazine, but it could be... I think it is a channel. I'm not sure what they do on Oxygen. Um, but that, that could work. So now we've got Nickelodeon, Discovery, History, and Oxygen. Which would be nice, because then I'm not going to have to worry about that annoying coin, first word coin category. Pennywise, of course, is a clown. Joker, uh, I mean, he has a clown face. Ronald McDonald, definitely a clown. And then I guess I, I haven't heard of a homie, but let's pretend it is. Okay, let's pretend it is homie. Then we'd have Democrat, Defense, Dimensional, and Drive, right? Because the other D word, Discovery, that's been used up, hopefully, for the cable TV channel. So Drive. All right, let's actually light those up. Let's see what's going on with Drive, Democrat. Discovery and dimensional. No, not discovery. Ah, defense. Hmm. I mean, wow, that's a good one. I mean, they're all D's. I mean, the Democrat, that's, that's interesting. I mean, without, you know, go, getting controversial or anything, I, I do think it's fairly, uh, I think it's fair to say that the New York Times does maybe cater a little bit. It's a little bit, a little bit more left-leaning, so they do tend to have a little bit more favor towards Democrats. Could this be like a category... I bet they don't really support political candidates. I don't think it would make sense. Like, the, no, there's no way they, like, are, are you guys ready? This is like, this sounds ridiculous, but I mean, they're not going to make like a little pitch for Kamala Harris, right? I mean, she is a Democrat, but then how would these others apply? Like, would they make the claim, you know, that she's multidimensional? She may be. She has a lot of drive. I think that's fair. I mean, anybody who's going to make a bid for the U.S. president role has to have a lot of drive. Defense. I just don't see how that would apply. Um, you know, unless they make the claim that, you know, she has a great concern for the defense of the country. I think that's stretching it beyond belief. I, I don't think they would go there. Um I don't think they would go there, but this is sort of just where my mind was taking me. Uh, that would be, a, I mean, that would be a silly way to title it. I just, I just don't think that would work. Hyper, hyperdrive, hyperdimensional, hyper defense, hyper democrat. I don't think I've ever heard. I haven't heard of the last two. I've heard of a hyperdrive. That's like a science fiction term, and hyperdimensional. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. So, but when you, in math, when you do dimensional, for instance, if it's one dimensional, you go one dash D, two dimensional, two D, three dimensional, three D. Drive on your car is a D. Uh, defense, I think you, you literally just use the letter D. And for sure, 
Democrat, you always go D. Republican, you always go R. Guys, I think we might have it. I'm going to abandon the Kamala Harris uh, pitch category because I think that was a little bit of a stretch. Um, I'm sure some of you would agree that all four certainly would apply. And that's totally fair. But I think we're, we're instead going to go, I think, a, a safer title. Uh, is this what D might mean? What D might stand for? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got that. Perfect. Okay, nice. Um, we'll try to do the reverse rainbow. Um, I think we got these sorted. So thankfully, we don't have to worry about the crossover. That is sneaky with the nickel, penny, cent, and quarterback. Yeah, but we got rid of the diamond dimensional. I don't think these would work anymore. Yeah, we're definitely going to go with... Um, I think clowns would probably be the next hardest. So we agreed it was Pennywise. I have no idea who homie is. You guys can let me know. Joker, again, I don't really think of him as a clown. I mean, we must be referring to... Oh, unless it's like the Joker of a playing card, then it is sort of a clown. Yeah, I don't think we're talking about Batman's rival. Um, and Ronald McDonald. Just double checking. I'm not making a mistake. Um, would these be clown characters? Yeah. Are these clown characters? Fictional clowns. We'll take it. I think this is an easy one to get the difficulty. I'm definitely going to say football positions for last. Um, but I think this is slightly more uh, obscure, uh, especially for people like me who do not watch cable much. But, you know, these are pretty common channels. Um, Discovery, History, Nickelodeon, Oxygen. You guys could let me know what does, what, what do you, why would you want to watch the Oxygen channel? I'm just kind of curious what's, what's in it. Um, so these are uh, cable channels. Cable channels. And these are football positions. Guys, you must kindly block your ears because this is going to be, I mean, this is going to be a really, really loud kashazzle basil. So here we go. We did it. Um, we did the awesome reverse rainbow. Uh, this is uh, the, one of the most esteemed, most illustrious uh, feats that you can do, according to the Wordle statistics. I'm not going to really go there right now. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's, it's, a, it's a tough thing to do. So I'm pretty happy we got it. Um, I think once you get purple first, you should have no trouble if you, you know, aspire to do this. It really doesn't matter one bit. All that really matters is that we just solved this thing without running out of guesses. Right, guys? I hope you enjoyed. And, of course, I will look forward to seeing you tomorrow for the next round of Connections.